Hello everybody, happy Monday. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I just wanted to share something. Sorry, I don't know why my fan started going crazy when I started recording. Um, I just wanted to share something that I felt was timely, a word. I was talking to a friend the other day and realizing like there was something that she'd been wanting in her heart so badly for so long. And I think hope deferred makes the heart grow sick and there was disappointment and a sense that God was just not gonna give her what she wanted. And um, I can so relate to that. I don't know how many of you can, but sometimes, you know, with the delays and the hindrances that are often the enemy, not the Lord, because um, God hears our prayers and he, he answers our prayers immediately, but sometimes there's hindrances in the spirit, right? So, um, and then he always works everything out for good. In other words, whatever the enemy tries to do, to you as a child of God, God's going to turn it around for good. And his timing will work out no matter what delays the enemy throws at you. But um, what I realized when, when we were talking is a strategy that the enemy often uses is um, delay and hindrance. So then we feel discouraged, disappointed, and then we lose hope, right? And when we lose hope, when we get into a hopeless state, then out of our the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. There's power of life and death in the tongue. So the strategy the enemy uses is cause delay and hindrance, tries to cause disappointment, makes you believe the lie that God didn't hear you or he did and he doesn't care or he did, he cares, but he's saying no. When, you know, he only says no if it's really something that's not good for you. Um, if it's something good for you, a godly desire, then it's probably from God that you have the desire. So once the enemy tries to get those lies in, that causes disappointment, that causes the hope deferred to make the heart grow sick. Out of our wounded heart, we speak, and then we speak things that kill the dream or postpone and delay the dream or the answer even more through our own mouth. So I just wanted to say that it was like a strategy that the, um, that I saw the enemy doing and I could back it all up in scripture. God, the Holy Spirit tied those all together. And I just wanted to share that because I think it's really important. So when you're feeling discouraged, when you've been standing and waiting and hoping for something, just keep praising God for the breakthrough. Thank him for the breakthrough, even though you don't see it. Faith is the, what is it? Hoping and believing for those things are not yet seen. You know, it hasn't manifested yet, but you're believing in God, the good father, the Abba daddy who loves you, cares for you. You're, you know, you're beautifully and wonderfully made in his image. He knows how many hairs are on your head. He sings songs over you every day. It says that in Zephaniah, the Lord himself sings praises over his kids. I mean, that blew my mind, you know? For those of us who get into that meek position of, and it's also, it can be a false humility of, oh, well, it's not me, it's God, it's not me, it's God. Well, it's both you and God, because you are the willing vessel, if you choose to be the willing vessel, to submit to the Lord and let the Holy Spirit work in you. And if you choose to use your time and your talents to serve the Lord, that's a choice. So. It's another word I just got, you know, I, don't be hesitant to receive some praise. God says he will glorify his son to glorify himself. So same thing, he will glorify us to glorify him. So just be aware of false humility as well. Um, I don't know, that just came to me right now prophetically. So I hope you guys are having a good day. Don't let the enemy steal your joy. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus came to bring life and life abundantly. He loves you. He has great plans for you, Jeremiah 29, 11. He has plans, he knows your future, to give you a hope in a future. You know, it, it, if there's a delay, speak to the delay and command it to go in the name of Jesus because Jesus taught us to speak to our mountains. He said, if you have enough faith, the faith of a mustard seed, which we all have, if we're believers, we have that much faith. The problem is we also have a lot of unbelief because of the delays, because of the disappointments, because of the hurt, because of the wounds, whatever we've, you know, the struggle and the battle we've gone through makes us weary sometimes and we give up and then out of our mouth, we kill our own dreams. So be careful, okay? Be careful what you speak. All right, God bless you. Bye.